Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before. But none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. You wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach! Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Oh, I couldn't do that! be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the waste that you do. If I tried half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> At least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Absolutely. Good hunting. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling.
Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I realize a lot of things, but this isn't one of them because it's a real scientific necessity and, and, and not ridiculous at all. What I mean is, I need this research, and you're probably going to get irradiated out there anyway. So, why not come back here and help me too? You got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem. What do you need? Try not to die! Reminder of the division that has occurred in the past. And the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be one. Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really? <laughs> Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, most people don't make it. But then again, most people don't have my experimental tricks. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine, but I could sweeten the deal by paying more food when you get back, regardless of the results. While you're away, I can at least search through my junk 
and see if there's anything that'll go with old food to make it more appetizing. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Good luck with that research. I'm just here to guard the goods, that's all. You need something, youngster? Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. What do you need? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. But if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night, and I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water, for now. Well, back to work. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Great! I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Well, let's see, there's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yes? You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? 
cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into If you need to buy something, Moira, up in, in Crater Side Supply. Don't let the people around here fool you with their hidden threat. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the Come forth and drink the waters of the globe. For this is... usually doesn't like when I talk to strangers. My dad, of course. He teaches me to shoot and about the law and keeping people safe when he's not busy protecting the town, that is. It's great. My dad says that one day I'm gonna get to be sheriff, just like him. There's the stalls. They run the Brass Lantern. I go there to eat with my dad sometimes. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird. But him and Mother Meyer are always nice to me. There's also Moriarty, but Dad says I'm not allowed to talk to him. Sorry. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Bye, mister!
wasteland assholes. Okay, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. Not that guy anymore. You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. Since I'm growing up good ones, you know? None of your fucking business. Well, now, that's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now, what did you want to know? No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Oh, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. It's dangling around Common's neck. Get it, if you can. Anytime, it'll be worth it to see the look on that asshole's face. I've said just about all I'm going to say about that. Come back if you need something. Come, bestow your presence on your unworthy Until the day of division, until the dawn. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. Your bodies to Adam, my friends. Release yourself. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Adam and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. In each our own way, we are all lost. Where would you like to be, brother? Atom can only heal the wounds of the soul. For wounds of the body, you should see Doc Church. His clinic is directly to the north of the church. It 
saddens me to think how quickly we resort to violence. Seek out Moira at Craterside Supply, although the true pilgrim relies on Adam to supply all that he needs. What do you wish to discuss? Yes, what would you like to know? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Adam's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Adam's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Adam call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. As you wish. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us. The bomb is atom. And thus, we are atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps, so they say. Rays shower you, child. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Enjoy! Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Have a good one, stranger. Every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every... Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. 
What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. No problem, buddy. Talk to you later, buddy. Thinking of breaking into them. Men, women, and children of the Earth, come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here... I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Great. Another junkie. In case you haven't noticed, this is a clinic, not a candy store. And I've got work to do. I'm afraid that goes against patient-doctor confidentiality. All right. I suppose someone with medical training has to have at least a bit of compassion. And maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. I don't know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. Try not to hurt yourself. For Christ's sake, you don't look sick, and you sure as hell don't look dead, so why are you bothering me? Some VIP from up north looking for surgery and computer expertise. I don't pay attention to that crap, and neither should you.
Try not to hurt yourself. For Christ's sake. Try to be careful. Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a the more perfect union. Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Why, that's unthinkable. Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government? Huh? Well, when you put it that way, Wait, you're just trying to confuse me with your fancy vault education and your textbooks. I'll have none of it. Did you have something else you wanted to ask, or were you done with your crazy talk? Anytime you want another lesson, come on by. Take care. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve. Hey there, buddy. Good to see you. Damn it. Who told you? I, I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Help. What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. I... I guess you're right. I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Look, I want to thank you for your help. I guess it took a complete stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. Thanks. It'll be hard, but I'll do my best. I just started. But so far, so good. Talk to you later, buddy. Your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself from his power.
Where did you come from? Not like it matters. I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Billy says I get too friendly with people I don't know. She says it's dangerous. Bye, mister. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. You should mess with that. Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed, in the same room where her parents had been butchered. 
We've been together ever since. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Later, Gator. Yeah, what is it? Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Good! This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Uh, huh? Yeah, what is it? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. I take care of the water purification. Sure, you got the purifier working right again. But if it runs out of water to pump, then we're still screwed. Well, back to work. Hey, uh, how's it going? Things are pretty hard, but it's getting better. Thanks again. You really talked some sense into me. Nothing. I'm... I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. Talk to you later, buddy. Huh? Yeah. What? Well, back to work. Yes? Making a move? Uh. Hey there. Take care of yourself, hun. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few... Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. See you soon.
Hey, Pearl. Come. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Indeed. A man's word is worth his weight in caps. I suppose I could arrange for a bonus of, say... Five hundred caps, in addition to the base fee? When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower, southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Any questions? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. Don't let me keep you. Something on your mind? Hey there. Glad you're back. Hey you. I need to ask you something. I'll help you if I can. Long time no see. You taking care of yourself out there? No offense, kid. I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? Remember what I told you, kid. Moriarty keeps his money locked up right next to his bed. Come back if you need something. Yeah? You need something? Hey, Jericho. Get the fuck out of my face. Good to see you again. Need a drink? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Got something on your... Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune, and, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. 
Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that instead of being stuck in this dive. Sure thing. See you soon. Mine? What is it, hun? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and... And I know that he'd like to. It's just... well... I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps. Up front. Okay, then. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave Station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. Take care of yourself, hun. Hey! Hello. Good to see you. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Shall be blind. 